Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Late one today, it's 10 o'clock at night, it's late for me, past my bedtime. I wasn't gonna do a video today, but uh, then I thought I'm quiet with work, so I've gotta make the most of it and keep on my one every other day uh, routine. I've been bouldering this evening, so I've only just got back actually. Mega sunset tonight, if it was half decent, um, hopefully I've got some shots of it uh, that might have made up the intro to this one. Bouldering though has nothing to do with this video. I'm gonna keep it short again, because it is late and I wanna go to bed. Got my trad rack hanging up here, so luckily nothing to do with bouldering. I wanted to briefly talk about why I colour code my kit and how I colour code my kit. I've done other videos on trad racking stuff, including like what's on my rack, that kind of thing. So I'm not going to go into particularly what I carry, but let's crack on with it. So first off, cams. Uh, this is kind of my go-to set. Everything is colour coded on there. So, you know, cams are nice bright colours, so I've got a nice bright carabiner to go with them. It's just easy recognition. That's all it is for that. It means I can look down at my harness and go, oh, I want a gold cam. There it is. I know where it is. It's on that back left. I want a uh, purple one. It's on my back right. But it's just a bit quicker to differentiate between all of them. I could kind of do it with my eyes closed if I'm honest, but why make life any harder? They're all racked on. DMM Phantom Carabiners. They're quite small, they're nice and light. Once you get used to them, they don't even feel like particularly small or awkward or anything, so I really like these. I'll often not put a quick draw on a cam if I'm using half ropes, because if the line runs in a nice smooth uh, you know, direction, then I just won't bother. I often will, but for those cases I don't, straight in. That's why I rack them individually. Some people might rack two or three cams on one crab. Never been a fan of that, just the habit I'm in. Next up, the obvious colour coding um, system is for the nuts, right? So let's start with the little micros, the brass imps from DMM. Really like these ones. I've got a set of the normal ones. I've got a set of offsets as well. Work really well on slate and any other rock type that needs small placements. The metal, the, the brass metal just beds in really nicely. Love them. Red carabiner, red for danger. They're small, they're scary. Okay, so it's red for that one. Purple, it's the next one up. It's not quite blue, it's not quite red. It's somewhere in the middle. Purple, it's not super scary, but they are on the small side, aren't they? So purple for those ones. Blue, it's my favorite color. This is the range that I place most, right? It's kind of from four to eight, and there's an overlap. Each set of my uh, nuts has an overlap in case I pick the wrong set uh, if I've misjudged the size. But blue is my favorite color, I place them most. Next up, gold standard, it's the big boys. Love these ones, these are pretty confidence inspiring when they go in, aren't they? Six through to 11, number seven's missing for some reason, it's in the cupboard somewhere. But gold, because it's gold standard. The slight oddity is green, and I'm not sure why I picked green, if I'm honest, for the offsets. I do love offsets, they just go in really well sometimes, especially in the sort of North Wales mountain rock. Green go to offsets, green for go, something like that. Doesn't really matter why, but they're just instantly recognizable. Yes, they're on the same place in my harness, the same as the cams always are, but glance down, green, go, brilliant. Just makes my life a bit easier. Other things I've got, all the quick draws, they've all got bright silver on the top, dark silver for the rope, so it's just a bit quicker. You know, you can see what the other things are on. My slings are on, uh, you know, purple for the purple slings, they're the 120s, the blue one's missing, but that's the 240, again, it's color coded. So as you've guessed from that lot, I've mentioned a few bits and pieces, but it's just to be a bit quicker and a bit more efficient. The more quick I can be when I'm picking the nuts or the cams or whatever, it's just less time faffing, less time getting pumped, less time having chance to get scared and stuff. I want that nut to go straight in, yeah? So do you have to color code your kit? Absolutely not, of course you don't. Is it worthwhile? It's worthwhile thinking about, isn't it? I'm sure you know people that color code their kit. I'm sure you know people who don't. Um, but anything I can do to make my life easier, I'm gonna do it and that works really well for me. So I'm gonna keep doing it as well. You'll notice I don't put any tape on my kit at all. You won't see it on the camera, but they all have somewhere, yeah, there you go in there, uh, a bit of orange uh, paint or nail polish. Tape just goes really ratty quite quick, and that, if you put that in the sort of spine of the carabiner, just lasts for ages, so it's really easy to recognize your kit, because loads of us have the same kit, don't we? So it's a really nice, quick one to, uh, to spot it when you're sorting out stuff at the end of the day. I hope that was useful. Uh, as always, please do fire away with any questions and I'll answer them as best I can. 
click that like button, smash the subscribe button. I appreciate that massively. I know I say it every time. Do find us on Insta, do find us on Facebook. That's massively appreciated too. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this video. More videos coming up very soon.